Hey guys, it's Sasha the Rice and Raw, and I have another part two of the question and answers series that I'm doing. So um, this is another common question, and this is, I am hungry all the time and putting on more and more weight. Any tips? The reasoning as to behind this is there's so many different elements, so I'm not going to into the reasoning as to why that's happening, but more so with tips is look at your uh, fat intake. Is your fat intake too low? I know that sounds crazy, but some people do the 95-5 deal, and I really don't think that's good in the long run. I think you can get really hungry on the lifestyle and maybe overeat. Fat actually will fill you up quite a bit. If you have even half an avocado with your rice, you're going to feel so much fuller than if you didn't have any avocado. Like it, it's, it's really intense, actually, I've noticed. Um, I was really shocked. So you can have some fat, like it's okay. I think whole plant-based fats are actually quite good for you and you shouldn't absolutely cut them out of your diet. You should incorporate them and be smart and think about them, but don't like exile them yet. So I think that might actually really help. Also take a look at kind of where, you know, obviously you have to acknowledge your background, like where you came from, like if you had an eating disorder, there's a lot more reasoning as to why that could be happening. Um, but I think the fat, <laughs> including a little bit more fat in your diet might actually be a huge help. And um, I've also noticed that a lot of people eating a high carb vegan diet have done very well in the starch solution because um, actually uh, my friend brought this up, Colin, he's very smart and he mentioned this and it made absolute sense. On the starch solution, you will lose weight because it is so hard. Have you ever tried eating enough calories from potatoes? Because I don't know, I found that to be really hard. And like even a, like a lot of calories from like simple carbohydrates or like plant-based carbohydrates, you have to have a large volume. So by the time you're bored of eating these potatoes, you're not going to have eaten as much as if you were jamming down a huge ass smoothie. So instead of being like a 2000 calorie smoothie, maybe you had like 900 calories of bananas and you, you know, I'm not bananas, sorry, of, of potatoes and you're like actually pretty full. Um, so maybe look into more of a starch solution style and like ease into more fruit in the future. Uh, this is my suggestion. Uh, let's see, another question. Uh, question, what do I think about fat? Uh, this is actually a really great question because I was just talking about it. 80-10-10 versus 95-5. I think 80-10-10 is the way to go. I think 95-5 can cause a lot of problems. I think maybe if you do it every once in a while, you know, it's absolutely fine. But if you're really trying to stick to that because you want to be really pure, I think it can cause like some kind of mental problems. I know that it is messed up a lot of girls' periods. Um, yeah, and it also made me really, really hungry when I was eating that way. And I found that adding a bit of fat helped me feel like I was more balanced and that I wasn't on this like crazy roller coaster of like constantly going and then being like, I'm really hungry and constantly eating and I'm really hungry. I don't know. That's just kind of what I experienced when I did try to eat 95.5. Um, Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely down for having a bit more fat every once in a while. I think people get that fat phobic uh, feeling on this lifestyle. It's not that. It's just you're not fat centered. You don't go for just fats. Fats are like now satellite foods. And it's like, oh, I'll have half an avocado with this meal instead of being like oil and avocado and like, you know, bacon and you, you know, just clear all that out and just have very simple plant based fats. Um, okay. What is your top three favorite foods? Well, obviously rice. <laughs> and I also, I love Datorade. I love Datorade smoothies. They're like my go-to, they're the best. And my last favorite food, actually grapes, but that's only when they're like really delicious. <laughs> Cause I, I feel like I always pick the wrong grapes. They're never sweet enough. Uh, but over vacation when I was in Colorado, I got the best grapes ever and I was, I was so happy eating them all the time. So when you get the right thing, grapes, I'm there. I love this next question from uh, Beauty Fruit. When do you think was a turning point for your weight loss? At what point did you feel you were losing too much weight? How often do you eat out? Okay, so the first question is what was my turning point for the weight loss? I love this question. My turning point was when I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stress right now. Like, if I don't lose the weight, whatever, I'm so happy on this lifestyle, I'm so comfortable that I'm going to just run with it. And that was when I started 
focus on other things. I had a hobbies. I had friends. I had my guy I was seeing, who is Joe now, who is my boyfriend. I have my family. I have school. I have goals and aspirations. So that's what um, really helped me to just let go of worrying about losing the weight, which meant my body could just let go of the weight because there was no energy focused on it anymore. It didn't matter. So it didn't need to be there anymore because there was no thought around it. And I guess that's, that worked for me. I think a lot of weight loss is actually mental and accepting it and being grateful for what you have and having goals, but just being so happy that you have a body, that you are here on this planet, that you can walk outside, you can run outside. You like you have so much more in your life than a lot of people do in this world. And that needs to be appreciated. And I think once you realize that, then you'll develop this peace and honestly, your actions will start to just help this weight fall off and you won't even realize it. It'll just start to be easy. And then, yeah, the next question, at what point did you feel like you were losing too much weight? And that was when I didn't feel like a woman anymore. I didn't feel super sexy. My boobs got small, my butt got small, my legs got small. And when I would be wearing work clothes and I would look in the mirror, I just felt like embarrassed in a way. Like I felt like a little girl and I didn't feel like I was like sexy, blah, blah, boom girl. I was like, I could be wearing pigtails right now. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know. I guess that's my, what I thought. How often do I eat out eat at restaurants? I guess, <laughs> cause I don't eat out. Um, <laughs> I eat at restaurants and, um, honestly, like one to two times a week. Yeah, <laughs> so it's it's a lot. It's consistently a lot. So one to two times a week, absolutely. <laughs> oh, another really good question from Life with Carbs. What are your thoughts about eating late at night? And I say, I eat late at night all the bloody time, like all the time. And I think it might not be for everyone, but if you are hungry, and I don't care what time it is, if you are hungry, eat. It doesn't need to be a lot. It can be like even Brussels sprouts are so filling. Um, some rice or even some dates. I, I actually found that if you have dates after some cooked food, after it like digests a bit, it, it, it's okay. You're in the clear. Uh, at least personally, that's okay for me. Um, I definitely believe in eating anytime you're hungry and never going to bed hungry. So um, to you guys who do try to go to bed hungry, don't. Like honestly, like it's not good for you and it's not good for your sleep patterns either because it'll... it'll mess up with your sleep. Are you coming to Woodstock, New York? I don't know. I don't even know when it is. Maybe I should because I don't know if I'm going to even do the Thai fruit fest because I don't know if I have enough time. Um, oh God, I want to. I know it'd be terrible if I don't. Um, I should probably do at least one of them. I feel like if I go to Woodstock, then that's being like, oh, well, like, I don't know. I feel like it's so divided now since it's either Woodstock or the fruit festival, it's almost like you have to choose. And Woodstock is so expensive and I don't really want to, uh, and I also heard that like the dates are rationed at Woodstock. So I, although it's so close, it doesn't, I don't know, I'm not quite sure yet. And then for the type fruit festival, I'm not quite sure either just because it's so far and to fly from like the East coast in America to Thailand, you have to like stop by in Dubai for like 24 hours. I don't know, I'm just not quite sure yet. Um, kind of stressing me out the thought of it to be honest but I want to I just want to be in Thailand um yeah all right so that's the end of this question and answers video I hope you guys find this helpful and I'm going to be making another one so I'll see you guys in part three bye guys